Several years ago, an eight-year-old girl from Jamaica was picking strawberries in the countryside in England when she said to her mother's friend that she wished she were white. Her mother's friend was shocked but without delay responded by saying you are a beautiful girl and you are special. Recently, a celebrity with Jamaican connections said that she knew her rival was prettier than she is because she had a lighter skin complexion and had longer hair. Don't be quick to cast judgment. The reality is that the rejection of black as being beautiful has historical connections. As a result, the browning syndrome where many individuals will attempt to lighten their skin is now a multi-billion industry. The Learning Journey in association with Turn It Up Tuesday hosted by Ross Audio presents Did You Know? And this week we will explore the history of skin bleaching in Jamaica, its popularization and the dangers of skin bleaching. Now let us define what skin bleaching is. The reality is that the bleaching of the skin requires chemicals to lighten the skin color. This is done to achieve, of course, a desirable complexion. Skin bleaching is popular in various parts of the world, including Jamaica. In Jamaica, skin bleaching is often seen as a way to gain acceptance or to feel attractive. It is also a known fact that at times when the police are investigating criminals in Jamaica, they have to ask for before and after picture. Because what the person was before the bleaching aspect took place, they are totally transformed. It is also not possible to recognize a friend that you went to school with when the bleaching is turned up. Imagine going to Jamaica and seeing one of your friends and not being sure if that is your friend. It happened to me. The Gleaner published an article titled Bleachers Beware Complexion Change Could Cause Travel Woes. The now incarcerated dance hall star Vibes Cartel's picture was on the story. In summary, the article stated that bleachers had delays getting their passports as additional checks needed to be made to confirm their identities. The writer gave one example. Imagine that someone weighed 116 pounds 10 years ago and was black. Then, after 10 years, they are weighing 200 pounds and they are almost white. Do you see the problem? Some people have taken this transformation to another level by wrapping themselves in plastic after applying the cream. Some have bleached to the extent that the skin will break, but at what cost? However, on a more serious note, one study connected to the Caribbean stated that skin bleaching is a habitual practice that is influenced by numerous factors such as ethnicity, nativeness, and educational attainment. In order to address this, the report goes on by saying it will require cultural sensitivity and intervention to promote behavioral change. The study goes on to suggest that many of the chemicals used are harmful. The study warms of the possible implications. Despite these health concerns, the research I did highlighted that the skin lightening market, as it relates to commercial market, is valued at $9.9 billion, US dollars that is, and will increase from 2021 by 5% on a year-by-year -year basis for the next seven years. While in Jamaica, we call it the Browning Syndrome. Within the academic field, we call it colorism. Colorism is prejudiced or discriminating against someone because of their darker skin tone. Hence, we must revisit our colonized past in Jamaica. In Jamaica, the British colonizers brought a preference of lighter skin tone. This preference for lighter skin was reflected in our education system in which lighter skinned Jamaicans were given preferential treatment. And this was passed on from generation to the next generation. To this day, when you hear someone say the baby looked pretty at birth, it is possible they are saying that the baby is in fact fair in complexion and has curly hair. I'm sure you've heard that sometime before. As Jamaicans, we need to emancipate our thoughts. However, the reality is that it is easier said than done. Because at one point in Jamaica, our leaders, the police force, people working in the banks, or people having various positions in our society were mainly of the same skin tone, lighter skin complexion that is. Let us also remember the books that we read portrayed lighter skin tone in a more positive way. 
Do you remember the nursery rhyme about Jack and Jill went up the hill to catch a peel of water? Do you for one minute think that Jack was a black boy and Jill was a white girl? The reality is that these thoughts regarding color was embedded in us earlier and the books that we saw Jack and Jill in were of course embedding these thoughts within. When we look around, we have so many digital forms that are pushing information. Social media has become increasingly important. Social media platforms like Instagram are filled with images of light-skinned celebrities and influencers, which can lead to a dangerous perception that light skin is more attractive. In addition, the social media platform is used for selling skin bleaching products, which anyone on the internet can buy and access. Despite its popularity, skin bleaching is highly dangerous and can cause serious health problems. The research currently shows that skin bleaching can lead to increased risk of developing skin cancer. Please see the articles that I have put on the bottom of the description section of this video. The dangers of skin bleaching are compounded by the fact that many skin bleaching products are not regulated by government. For this reason, it is important to be aware of the dangers of bleaching your skin to avoid these products that can be toxic to your own body. Let me conclude by saying skin bleaching is a widespread practice in Jamaica and it is important to understand the historical roots of this practice. At my stage and age, I am satisfied with my skin tone. We should all be proud of our color. But let me ask you one question as I conclude. Do you know any black millionaires? who are producers of these creams and products? I don't, and I'm sure that those who produce them will never use them. Over to you, Rossi.